Hey, Mark here. Well, we've arrived at Nino's. Good morning. Trailer's here. Nino's house. Yep. Loader. Loader's there. Dumper. Dump truck's there. Yeah, let's wait till you meet this Nino guy. Delfino. Real nice fella. Anyways, this is a little project we, uh, Nino orchestrated last year. Well, he didn't run this by his wife. But this is a new paver here. He had the old pavers there. Well, he's an older Italian fella. And he figured, well, we can probably save these bricks, eh? Something he didn't run by his wife. So, as you can see, new brick, old brick, asphalt. So basically his wife came out there after and said, uh, what the hell is this, Nino? She wasn't impressed, so Nino got in trouble that night. Yes. And we're here to fix this. Should we show them the backyard sanctuary? Yep. Yeah. We'll take you to the backyard. Nino, Nino's big on gardening too. what we did last year we put in the steps for him yeah. the retaining wall there, there. Running all there. got some concrete pad poured in there got his little planting bed in there for his garden yeah, but you that. and uh yeah we're here to uh he does he has live traps yeah. hey jim He's garden. how's hey, it going tomorrow. james i was telling everybody we're at nino's house here so we're here to do a little retaining wall right in this section here and yep. tie into that one. But yeah, anyways, we'll check in with you after. Hey everyone, now we're done with that little driveway extension. This is for my buddy Nino. We do a lot of work for him. Alright, so we finished up with that little driveway extension. Done back to back. 
they're both going to be catalog worthy just for driveways. Uh, the one is about 2,500 square feet of brick, and the other I think is around 4,000. They're both within the same area. It's going to be a really, really, really nice job.
shop, obviously. Uh, today is Saturday, May 8th. We're not working on site today, uh, but uh, John and I, JT, uh, we're doing a little bit of maintenance on some uh, equipment, getting all our winter stuff, make sure it's all put away now that contracts are over. Uh, the end of our contracts are uh, April 30th. So basically May 1st at, you know, 1201 kind of thing. They're, they're over and done. So we have Johnny over here right now, cleaning up, getting the sander nice and clean and tucked away. Then we're gonna wash the uh, we're gonna wash the loader. We've already uh, greased it because we've been using it uh, this last week. Pretty easy to grease this machine. Needs a bit of a bath. This is probably the dirtiest it's been in a while. Once we're done washing this stuff, um, we're gonna bring the dump truck down here and we're gonna get it all greased up. Uh, a lot of grease points on there we gotta get to and uh, get it ready to roll for another week of work. But uh, the jobs aren't gonna stop. They are not going to stop. So you better take care and maintain your equipment properly or it's going to uh, it's gonna let you down. That's why I like to call preventative maintenance. This is pretty easy stuff, but I mean like greasing things, things like that, checking fluids, that's all preventative maintenance. Anyways, sounds like Johnny's just about done, ready to fire up and uh, get the loader washed here. So I better move out of his way before I get wet. Oh yeah. Basically all we want to do, make sure we give it a good rinse and get all that sand and crap off of it. Anyways, we will see you guys shortly. We're just going to get this finished up. We're gonna bring the uh, the, uh, the dump truck down. Take care of that.